Hey guys, so I've gotten a lot of requests to make a video tutorial to show how I edit a Milky Way picture that looks like this into something that looks more like this. Okay, so I'm going to be using Lightroom and Photoshop for this session. Um, but first of all, I want to talk about how I took this photo. Um, I took this with a Canon 60D and uh, I used a pretty entry level lens. I use the Canon 10 millimeter to 18 millimeter lens. As you can see, it doesn't really matter what camera you use as long as it's a DSLR with a long exposure function and you have a, tr a steady tripod. Here I took this picture at 20 seconds um, and uh, the ISO I used was about 3200. Um, I think this is a 10 millimeters at probably f5.6 or f4. Um, but anyway, the point is, uh, if you have a camera that can expose for a long time, it can actually collect a lot of data. So if there's a lot of data here that we can we can pick out, um, which would allow it to look like this. Okay, so to get started, um, I'm just going to be looking at the standard um, adjustments on the right of Photoshop or Lightroom. Um, so first thing I want to do is I want to bring up a little bit of exposure to get more detail of the Milky Way. So I'm not going to go too crazy with it, but I'll bring up just a little bit. Um, the picture looks a little bit warm right now, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just make it a little cooler. And um, there's a lot of light pollution here, so I'm going to turn the highlights down to see how much of that light pollution I can get rid of. All right, so it looks pretty good already. I'm able to get rid of a lot of it, but I still like the glow down here. Um, I really wanted to show you know, the contrast between the dark sky and the, 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 light, the light pollution. So I'm going to turn down the highlights, but not too much. Um, so I want at, at the end of the day, I want this Milky Way to pop. And to make things pop, you need a lot of contrast. Um, however, I don't think I need to go too crazy over the contrast. So I'm just going to bring it up a little bit. Um, and with editing Milky Way photos, you really want to open up the whites um, because once you do that, the, the core really, really will stand out. So if you turn up the whites, you'll see that it, it comes out. Uh, it's pretty much alive now, right? But it's still very hazy. There's a lot of light pollution. Um, so there's a dehaze function that actually is very, very useful for editing Milky Way photos. So I'm going to crank up the dehaze to get rid of that. As you can see, how much of the haze I was able to get rid of, right? If I crank it all the way, to the right, it's a little too much. So maybe you know about 70, 60. That looks that looks really good. Um, so going back to the basic adjustments, um, let's see why what, what I think about this so far. Um, I, I think the Milky Way is still not bright enough. It's, it, the picture looks very flat. So I'm gonna bring up a little bit of clarity uh, to make it pop more. Maybe a little too much there. Um, instead of using more contrast, I can adjust the whites and blacks as needed to make it contrasty. So I'm going to bring down the blacks a little bit, uh, maybe up the whites a little more. So, you know, there we go. So it's actually looking pretty good already. Um, something about this composition bothers me a little bit. So I'm going to, I'm going to just crop it a little bit. I'm going to take away some of the foreground. Um, I actually like this tree a lot. Uh, so I want to look at this with kind of like a uh, rule of thirds point of view, where the core of the Milky Way is centered over here, as opposed to having it centered in the middle, right? Um, so I'm going to bring up just a little bit more, uh, less foreground, but this way you have the Milky Way sort of, you, you see this um, frame with the tree leaves and the foreground of the Milky Way. So I, I like that a lot. And these, uh, these streaks are actually from airplanes throughout the 20 seconds of exposure. So you can use this, um, this is called spot removal if you want to get rid of it. Um, but I personally like it because it adds, I think it adds to the picture. But yeah, so you can get rid of it if you want to. Um, the next thing that I find really helpful with Milky Way photos is using the, the curves adjustment layer. Um, so instead of just going to the curve and messing around with it, I like to use this knob here. Um, this knob allows you to select points on a photo and um, you can either brighten it or darken it. So 
as I was saying earlier, I want this to pop even more. So I'm going to pick a spot that's bright uh, in the Milky Way. So I'm going to pick the core right here. And I'm going to click on that and drag up just a little bit. So now you see that um, this whole folder has brightened up. Um, however, it still looks kind of flat, right? So next thing I want to do is I want to go to a darker area. So maybe like in the in the center of the Milky Way. And I'll click on it and I'm going to drag it down. Uh, not too much though. Um, I don't want it to look too fake. So there we go. So um, I like that a lot. Next thing I want to do, as I'm just moving down my workflow, right? Split toning. Is there something that I want to change with the toning? Um, I guess what I want to do is make this a little bit cooler. I think it has a too much of a magenta color to it. So I'm just gonna actually go to the blue over here for the shadows. Um, let's see what it looks like if I add more blue. So as you can see, it gets rid of the magenta and adds a little bit of a cooler color to it. So I'm, I'm going to add a little bit of that. Uh, and then going down to details, um, I want to sharpen this image a lot more. So I'm just going to crank up the sharpening. But as you can see, if I sharpen it too much, it becomes it looks actually more grainy. So I'm just going to sharpen it a little bit. Um, and then use the masking function to mask out areas that I don't want to sharpen. So if you hold down Alt and click on masking, you see that it starts off as a white um, white plane. Uh, and the reason is that means everything is being sharpened right now. But as you drag your cursor to the right, things start to black out. And the things that are being blacked out are areas that the sharpening won't take effect. Um, so as I drag to the right, you'll see that you know maybe the foreground um, some of the edges are being sharpened. Um, definitely the stars are being sharpened, so, so that's what I want. So I'm going to keep it there. Um, this way I can sharpen the stars, but not sharpen like you know the, the blank spaces of, of the picture. As you can see, it's pretty grainy already, so I don't want to add to that. I'm going to reduce noise just a little bit, not too much, because if I do it too much, it becomes sort of blurry. Um, going down... Profile correction doesn't do anything because I don't think it picks up what lens I used. But I do want to use remove chromatic aberration to get the you know, chromatic aberration around the, around the stars. It's very subtle, but uh, I still like to use that. Um, and I think that's I mean that's pretty much it, right? So you have a picture that looks like this. Um, sorry, off like looking like this, going into a picture that looks like this. And there's one last final touch up I like to do um, to make it look like this. Right, you see how this is more of a dreamy um, color, dreamy texture. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this actually in Photoshop. And I'll show you guys a, a trick that I learned on YouTube. Um, I mean, all of this you can learn on YouTube as well. This is where I, I picked it up. Right, I looked at different, I watched different videos, I read different techniques, and I kind of just picked the techniques that I liked and, and merged those together. So the first thing I want to do in Photoshop is I want to um, open up the curves adjustment layer. And similar to what we did before, I want to add a little bit more pop to the Milky Way. So I'm going to use the slider right here. I'm going to take a bright spot. I'm going to open it up. And I'm going to take a dark spot maybe here and darken it down a little bit. So now it's it's pretty dreamy. Um, I What I'm going to do, uh, you can change this and change the coloring of the Milky Way um, slightly, uh, I recommend you like but then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press uh, control shift LTE to create a layer um, and I'm gonna go to image and go to apply image and look at the settings here um, the setting I want to change to blending is screen so as you can see this is very bright right um, I don't want this bright so I'm gonna Press Control J to create a new layer on top of that, just a copy of layer one. And um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to turn on my blend mode for this copy layer to multiply. And as you can see, this is way too dark, right? Um, I definitely don't want the picture to look like this, but it I really like the center of the core of the Milky Way. I'm going to go to Filter, and I'm going to go to Gaussian Blur, and 
If you if you look at the picture here, as I change the different levels of uh, pixels of blur, you'll see it becomes very dreamy. You can you can change this to whatever you feel like. Um, I don't like to go overboard with this. I just add a little bit, maybe that much, and then I'm gonna merge this layer down. So basically, I'm left with this, um, and I'll show you before and after. Right. So before it looks like this, and after it looks like that. But I think this is way overdone. So and most of this most of this picture I don't want, but there are certain parts I, I want. And so I'm gonna create a mask over it and I'm gonna press Control I to invert the layer. Basically what this does is imagine putting a black piece of paper over this adjustment. Um, so everything is basically uh, wiped out. Um, so the before and after will look the same, right? Because you're just um, neglecting this edit. So next thing I want to do is I want to press B to get our, you can go here and uh, get your adjustment brush, turn it to white, and I'm going to enlarge it and make sure your opacity is uh, pretty high, um, your flow is low so that you can have more um, leeway to, to adjust your picture as needed. So like I said, I really like the center of the Milky Way, so I'm going um, to paint over the center to get a little bit of that back. So as you can see, it darkened, right? It darkened a little bit more. But if I just do that, it looks weird because the gradient is wrong. I'm going from this area without the adjustment to this strong uh, dreamy Milky Way. It just looks like it's photoshopped in. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up a little bit more. I'm going to turn the flow down and I'm going to try to even out the gradient around the Milky Way so it doesn't look as um, uh, different from the rest of the picture. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do this. And also do the bottom, do the top a little bit. And now it's looking a lot better. So I'll show you before and after. Before, after, before, after. And also, if I had not made those adjustments, it would look like that. And it, I think it's way overdone. And I use a lot of the, the tree leaves up here, which I really like as it helps frame the Milky Way. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So the first, you know, to reiterate what I did is uh, the haze function absolutely helped. Um, made some adjustments, just very basic adjustments. Um, the big one was the, the tone curve and um, going into Photoshop to add this Orton effect. So hopefully that helps. Um, if you guys want, you can send me raw files of your uh, Milky Way photo and you know if you're having issues with editing that, I can try to um, edit it using this method and see how much detail I can get out of it. Alright, so thanks for watching.